NBA season right around the corner. If you don't know, I'm a big basketball fan, and in spirit of all that, I'm going to give you a few hot takes. Yeah. Number one, I got Donovan Mitchell winning MVP this season. Now you might be thinking, that's kind of wild. How the hell is he going to do that? I think the Utah Jazz is going to have the best record in basketball, and that's going to be way more impressive now that, you know, like we have the stacked-ass Nets, the stacked-ass Lakers, and a whole bunch of other good-ass teams. Hot take number two, Portland Trailblazers missed the playoffs. This past season, they didn't make the playoffs in very convincing fashion, even with those injuries to the Lakers. On top of them barely improving all of the things that they needed to improve on. Hot take number three, the New York Knicks also missed the playoffs. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the Knicks. They're a great defensive team. Julius Erndl will be balling his ass off now, and good for him. But a lot of their last season's success came from multiple people having, like, career-high percentages from three. And we can't just bank on them shooting the three that good again. And if it gets to the point that the New York Knicks have to get into, like, a, a play-in scenario, we've seen how Julius Erndl looks in, like, playoff basketball, and it's not fucking pretty. Number four is Sadiq Bey, most improved player this year. Now, some of you might be wondering, who the fuck is Sadiq Bey? He played for the Pistons last season. He was pretty solid in the time that he got. And now that he's going to have Cade Cunningham feeding him the ball and, you know, like all his favorite spots and whatnot, I think he's going to move. And last but not least, I got the Indiana Pacers sneaking their way into the playoffs. They dealt with a lot of injury last season, and we really still don't know what's going to happen with TJ Warren and his foot and whatnot. But Miles Turner started to come into his own. Sabonis is still Sabonis, an all-star forward. Malcolm Brogdon's one of the nicest point guards, most underrated all-around point guards in the league. If we can get a healthy season out of Karis LeVert, God knows what he could do. And outside of that, they don't have the deepest bench in the world, but they could still make some moves. I don't know, at the end of the season, we could come back here and y'all can tell me if I'm fucking right or wrong or whatever, and yeah.